Hi, my name is Mara Wright. I oversee the exhibitions program at the Archie Bray Foundation. I'd first like to say thank you to the Holter for hosting our Exiting Fellowship Artist Exhibition. This exhibition is the culmination of a one to two year residency in which each artist receives a free studio space and a monetary award provided by a private donor. Hvala Dogari, ja sam Iva Haas. Evo da se predstavimo na srpskom, da uverim samo sebe da nisam zaboravila svoj maternji jezik, ali bi sad želala da se prebacim na engleski za ovu publiku ovde u Heleni Monteni. Hey guys, my name is Iva Haas. I had to speak a little bit of Serbian just to convince myself I didn't forget my first language. I am a 2019 Lillian Fellow. I was born and raised in Belgrade, Serbia. I'm generally inspired by the aesthetics, life and culture that took place in Serbia during the period from the 1950s till the 1970s. Brutalist architecture, products and textile design of the former Yugoslavia are usually my biggest inspiration. Uh, this body of work is a culmination of my time at the Archie Bray. I really do appreciate the fact that I was able to work in an environment that allowed experimentation of materials and ideas. Each object in this show is a small representation of a new way of thinking when creating an object of importance. Thank you so much. I'm Jessica Brandel, and I'm the recipient of the Joan Lincoln Fellowship from the Archie Bray Foundation. Behind me is a collection of the works that I made for our exit show, and it's been a really both challenging and exciting experience at the Bray. What I've had the opportunity to explore is the kind of collection of forms that are really ordinary, and I look at them in an archaeological way as uh, indicators of time and history so that it's familiar but not recent familiar. It's been quite an adventure moving from functional to sculptural. The forms are cleaning products which I didn't initially plan for the coronavirus but in my mind of too much stuff and so much Americana saturated I wanted to clean things up and the emblems on them are actually car emblems so they are pieces of art in that they're juxtapositions. And it's a wonderful opportunity to have this space like the Holter here in Helena uh, that provides um, a really beautiful setting to understand our work in a much bigger way than just in our own studios because you get kind of used to the, the setting in your own space and to have it composed as a gallery full of five distinct artists is a really opportunity to really feel like you shine. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Stuart Gare from Hudson, Ohio, and I'm the recipient of the 2019 Matsutani Fellowship. So I've been at the Archie Bray for two years now, and it's really enabled me to expand and explore a lot of new ideas and things, but it's also helped me hone in on really specific things as well. Um, so I'd like to focus on this grouping on the shelf here, which um, are all new pieces I've made uh, since being here at the Bray. And um, I wanted to talk about quickly kind of what I was thinking in terms of positioning in the kiln and why I made each piece the way it is um, in term, to get a final result. So this bowl here, I'm kind of thinking about how the flame is hitting this underside and also how it's kind of dipping down onto the interior. Uh, this lidded jar here, um, I positioned a piece kind of like this near it, so it kind of gives you a signifier of where it lines up. Uh, thinking about uh, how the flame moves over edges uh, versus a rounded surface. Uh, this piece here is kind of um, a canvas for, I just think of it as a canvas uh, and a great way to, to record the information of the firing. So it gives you, oh, it's kind of stuck down there, but the front of the kiln versus the back of the kiln on the back side. Um, and this is kind of a springboard piece here. This is the last piece I made before the exhibition. Um, and what I'm 
interested in particularly is these orange marks here, which is where it's like a, sh a shielded area of the kiln. Um, and I'm thinking a lot about, you know, how I can incorporate that kind of like acute angle into other forms. Um, it was really cool to uh, be part of this exhibition and actually see everyone's work outside of the gallery and, or outside of the studio and bring it into one space. Uh, it looks incredible in here and I'm happy we have some closure to our residency. I'm Katie Driver and I am the 2019 recipient of the Etchart Satchery Fellowship at the Archie Bray Foundation. I'm a potter from Western Canada and I've been at the Archie Bray for about one year um, and as you can probably see from my work I have a real obsession with pattern and with historic pottery. Um, I'm really interested in how potters from today really continue to draw on historic patterns and historic forms and these pieces in particular are based off of uh, Song Dynasty cosmetic boxes. I'm really interested in bringing those forms forward into the future, but putting a contemporary spin on those historic forms. So the use of the snake imagery on these cosmetic boxes I find interesting because the snake is such a powerful symbol, especially in the West. So in the West in particular, uh, the snake is often seen as this very scary symbol, um, but in other cultures the snake is really a symbol of power and of rebirth and I found that an interesting thing to juxtapose with the idea of this make makeup box or this treasure box. The snake can be either a protector of whatever you put into this little container or the snake can be a symbol of one's own power. Everybody. My name is Kelly Stevenson. I am the 2019 Lill Street Art Center Fellow. Um, having grown up in Montana and receiving my undergraduate degree at Montana State University, becoming a resident at the Archie Bray Foundation was always one of my highest goals and dreams. So it's been a really incredible experience to be there and get to work with all my incredible fellow residents. I have two main pieces um, in this on our Exiting Fellowship exhibition. This figure was originally inspired by the um, horrible forest fires in Australia in both the Amazon and while working on it, it kind of just started to gain more meaning through for me considering all of the events that have been since happening in our world. Um, and so she kind of stands as like a maybe Mother Nature figure kind of trying to capture the gaze of the intensity of everything that we've been going through. These pieces, this installation of heads on the wall, function as little markers of time or recordings of headspace basically. And um, working on these is a much different pace than working on the, the larger figurative sculpture. I see them as a place to really take you know, the thoughts and energies and feelings that I have inside and kind of put them out and communicate them to the world. As I mentioned, they are kind of like little tickers of time. And even on some of these heads, like this one exactly, throughout the years, I have often done these little grids of dots and they always correlate with how old I am. So it's kind of saying like in this year of Kelly Stevenson, this was one thing that was going on, maybe an event or a thought or feeling, experience. And then two, just thinking this is a little macrocosm of the greater grid that's going on and kind of just that ticking of ideas and thoughts.
We'd like to sincerely thank you for your support of the exhibition. We hope you have a chance to view the work in person. The Holter is now open normal business hours. If you'd like an additional information about the work, inquiries can be made by emailing exhibitions at archiebray.org or by calling 406-443-3502, extension 18. Thank you. Thank you.